Okay, so you guys should know this about me. I am a people watcher. It used to be so I could like pick up on the coolest mannerisms and stuff, but it's actually kind of fun, right? I'm not creepy. So I took myself out to coffee the other day. Prime people watching opportunity. <laughs> I saw this really crazy guy jumping around and flapping his hands like this, yelling, shark attack, shark attack. And there was these like bunch of girls just like staring at him and giggling. I guess if I were to think about it, I would be one of those girls. But I mean, okay, come on. If you saw some guy jumping around yelling shark attack, shamelessly, shamelessly, you couldn't help but stare and laugh too. Oh, I saw, I saw this really tall girl, um, but I see that all the time because I'm really short. But not as short as the guy that she was with. I mean like with, I don't know. What do you guys think about couples like that? <laughs> Teach their own. <laughs> oh, I saw the cutest couple. I saw the cute, okay, they were holding hands, and then the guy, he was, in his other hand, he was holding this little baby kitten. It's like they had just come back from, like, the pet shop or something, and it was the fuzziest little kitten, and its eyes were shut, and it just, like, its little belly was all soft and pink and fuzzy, and I just wanted to rub my face in it. It was so cute. <sighs> oh. After a while, though, it kind of got empty. Then I saw that girl that Carly's been hanging out with. Marion. She seems all poised and put together, but I don't know. There's just something off about her. And it's not just that she embodies everything that I used to want to be. It's, it's not that. It's the way that she acted with David. David also came into the coffee shop, but he was with a bunch of guys and he just smiled and waved. Coincidentally, the guys all got a table next to Marion. And get this. She winked, like winked. And the worst part is, and I hate myself for saying this, but she made it work. Ugh. Still, I don't think that even she could pull off footsie. It wasn't really footsie. It was this weird foot thing that she did. I don't know, after giving him her little visual once over. It was really weird. Why couldn't she have just thrown a napkin or something? I wish that were it, but then he responded, and they talked, and talked, and talked, and her fingers found their way to his arm several times. I think she was succeeding at sucking him in, just like she sucked Carolee in when they first met. Sucking him in with her evil. No, no, she's not evil. She's just... something. Back to Carolee. She walked in and, and gave me this letter, and Marion was with her, like some sort of ambush, and... I'm not going to say that Marion was smirking, because she looked as sweet as everybody thinks that she is, but... I don't know, she just... somehow made me feel shorter than I am. I don't know what this even means. Interloper? I guess I should be grateful. I've been praying that things will get better between us, and, and for wisdom for what to do. One of those Proverbs texts would have really helped. <laughs> P6, verses 12 to 14. A worthless person, a man of iniquity, is he who walks with a perverse mouth, who winks with his eyes, who signals with his feet, who motions with his fingers, in whose heart is perverseness, who devises evil continually, who always sows discord. I think Carly wants to make peace. I don't know, though. This doesn't even sound like her. Oh, I just don't want to think anymore. Just... Tell me something funny. What are some funny things that you've seen while people watching?